Hey guys, what's up? It's Sonoma Cub, and if I seem pissed off, that's because I kind of am. Um, I literally was just trying to film this video, and as I was almost done, my mom called me, and I filmed off of my phone, so that stopped the video. And I can't edit, because my computer is shit. Thanks, Mom! But yeah, anyways, this is a Q&A video. It's gonna be fun. Lucy Koss on YouTube asked, how long have you had your snake bites and how long do you plan on keeping them? I've had this one for two years and this one for almost two years. And as for keeping them, I'm not really sure how long I'm going to keep them. I have thought a couple times about taking them out, but I really like them and I feel naked without them, so I don't know. <laughs> Rob Zombie or Zomdie asked a bunch of questions and I picked a few that I liked. What's your favorite pizza topping? Uh, it used to be white garlic chicken when I ate meat, and now it's just cheese, but honestly, I don't like pizza that much because I live really close to Little Caesars, so I eat it all the fucking time for like years now. After a while, pretty sick of it. Pretty fucking sick of it. <laughs> What's your favorite sandwich meat? I uh, don't eat meat, but it used to be turkey. Do you believe Sasquatch exists, and if so, would you marry him? No, I wouldn't fucking marry Sasquatch. Like, what the fuck kind of question is that? Like, no. As for believing in him, I'm kind of an open-minded person. So, and there's not, like, really legitimate proof that I've seen that he exists, but there's also no proof that he doesn't exist. So, there's a, he could exist, he could not exist, whatever. Who is your favorite Marvel's comic character and why? It is Deadpool, because he's a total smartass, and he's so funny, reminds me of myself. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm really fucking excited for the Deadpool movie next year. Like, fucking excited. If you could be any animal, what would it be? Um... It's a three-way tie between snakes, because they're super fucking cute, but a lot of people hate them and kill them on sight, and I kind of don't want to die. Uh, the next one is cats, because they're super, super cute, and I relate to them a lot. <sighs> I keep saying Um The third one is foxes, obviously, because I love foxes, but also a lot of people hate them too and kill them. So... <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm still sick. And these are from Tumblr. Is there a boy or girl in your life? Yes, there is. His name is John, as you guys know. I keep doing this. Like, you can't see it, but I just keep doing this. Do you forgive the last person who hurt you? The last person that hurt me was my dad, and even though I absolutely hate the things he said to me, I still forgive him just for the sake of keeping him in my life and on good terms, because I feel like that's more important than some stupid fight. What do you think of when you hear someone say meow? I think of Scream Kiwi on YouTube because she says meow a lot in her videos. And, well, not a lot, but generally a lot. <laughs> and dresses like a cat all the time and is just super cute and like totally fucking goals. Like, yeah. Are you afraid of falling in love? No, I'm not. And a lot of people would wonder why because I've been hurt a lot by people I love. But I'm a very loving person, and I just want to love someone and be loved back. It's, it's a nice feeling. Like, you can't let bad experiences ruin that thing for you forever. Uh, what's your cell phone background? It is pictures of my cats, because I'm a crazy fucking cat lady. We all know this. Are things going the way you planned? Um, some things are actually going the way that I tried to avoid them, but it's whatever shit happens, it's not like super super bad, it's okay, like it's not hurting me really, just gotta wait it out I guess, and hope for the best. Other things are kind of going the way I planned, like they're in the process, you know, of how I want them to end up, but so far it's good, life's good. Um, which hurts more, emotional or physical pain? 
a lot of people would jump to emotional pain hurts more, and that's partly true, but physical pain will go away if you take care of it. Same with emotional pain. Like, something, a feeling, will go away if you just take care of whatever's going on. Like, if you're sad about a breakup, obviously if you take care of yourself and try to, like, forget about them and move on, you're gonna feel better. Like, I dated this guy, just this is an example, I dated this guy and we broke up and I was still in love with him and stuff and then he got with someone else and I was like super sad about it but after, I just took care of my feelings and self and stuff and just tried to move on and now I don't even give a fuck about him. <laughs> so, uh, Would you get back with any of your exes? No I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. They all kind of suck a little bit. <coughs> like, I'm cool with them all, but there's still that, like, low-key hatred for each other. Um, if you knew you had the right person, would you marry them today? No, I wouldn't. Like, I do want to get married in the future, and I do plan on getting married in the future, but right now, I have other things to do in my life that are really important and will like build my future. So getting married right now would be a major distraction from those things that I really need to get done. So I wouldn't marry the one right now. Do you have any tattoos? I do. They're stick and pokes. I'm a stupid teenager. They were done by friends just for fun. And this one is the only one you can see still because the other one scabbed up and fell off. It was supposed to be Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service, but obviously it looks nothing like Gigi, which makes me sad. But I'm going to get it covered up in the future so that it actually looks like Gigi. Because Gigi is super cute. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Kiki's Delivery Service and you will thank me. Our goodbye is hard. Um, it depends on the situation and like who you're saying goodbye to and stuff. Have you ever tried your hardest and then just ended up disappointed? Yes, I have, many a time, but I s all that matters is, is the amount of effort that I put in, and if I tried my hardest and it didn't work out, obviously it wasn't supposed to, or it wasn't supposed to right now. Everything in my beliefs happens for a reason, so, you know. Why aren't you with your first love? I'm not with my first love because he broke up with me and which is good even though I was very sad at the time. It's really good because he was very emotionally abusive and controlling. Like I would talk about how I wanted lip rings and how I wanted to change my hair and like do bright colors and get a mohawk and stuff and he would literally say like no don't do that girls who do that look ugly and gross. And I would be like, so you're saying if I did that, I would look ugly and gross to you? And he said, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. And I'd be like, that's exactly what you're fucking saying. Like, dumb shit. <laughs> uh, have you ever kissed anyone with a lip ring? I'm only answering this because a lot of people ask me, what's it like kissing someone else with a lip ring? Like, does, do they get caught? Um... I have kissed someone else with a lip ring, and I wear horseshoe lip rings, so they're more prone to getting caught on things. Um, my sinuses are really weird right now, I'm sorry. And they, they didn't get caught on this person's lip ring, which is good, because that would have kind of hurt, but I don't know. I didn't even really notice their lip ring, probably because I have my own, so I'm used to the feeling of lip rings on my face, but... I feel like if I wasn't used to lip rings on my face, I would have noticed their lip ring. But whatever. That's the last question. Um, I sound really weird because I'm still sick and I'm sorry. I'm fucking disgusting. <laughs> but hope you enjoy this video and I love you guys. Bye.